probably be thinking. Yeah, you'll probably be thinking if I'm right. At least why is it all black down here? I'm, I, I'm sorry. But I'm sorry. You didn't question that when uh, my own need dress or my own son dress at the back there. But now that I'm wearing a machinery dress, you know. It should so well go down for me. Uh, this machinery dress is around my boobs, it's like blue. Or my chest part. And, uh. The bottom part is black, but it shows my belly so well. Like, I can't really sit with my legs crossed, so that's one issue. As you can see, baby bump Elise. I made it a little bit bigger. Maybe that I just put it, like, down here. Made it a little bit bigger. Do it like this. You make it a wide belly, Elise. <laughs> now you can see that's the belly. <laughs> uh, but anyway, welcome back to a new po my Pokemon Omega Ruby. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing Martinery, where as you can see, uh, so, I hope, I hope it's visible, because it's all black, as you can see, but, belly, belly cam. Uh, last episode, we went on to do the 7th gym, and we got once again crushed, because, oh, oh, double battles, oh, oh, double battles, uh, uh, yeah. And now we got dive, and with dive, that means that we can do, uh, catch this person above us. Or finally met this person above us. And that brings me to one question today. It's a randomizer. I don't know if this is randomized above me. Yeah, you can see me pointing, but like I'm pointing with my one of the through there. And I want to still on my belly, but... <laughs> uh, like, Martini Rare is so cut and comfy, yeah? Hello? So, Martini Rare is so cut and comfy. Oh, but yeah. So we're gonna like go to Groudon today or to Team Magma underwater. But I don't know. <coughs> Apologies, I'm the sneeze. <laughs> I have to sneeze before a recording. But I don't know. Uh to be honest. If it's like undermined. So, did I teach my one of my Pokemon dive? I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Ready. Why can I surf on that little blue piece? Well, oh yeah. Like, uh, in my f six months pregnancy, I didn't, I didn't teach dive. Did I? No. In my six to seven months pregnancy now, uh, I never actually wore maternity wear because I don't know, it didn't feel like something that I don't know, this is something that I didn't feel like needed to wear. Of course, a few of my clothes are like not comfy at all, but uh. Ali of this week surprised me with some clothing, some wearing the where he was shopping with like a friend of hers, with him, like a good friend of hers, him, hers, ah, him. Like Lydia, Lydia's staying over because Ali had, had something on with his parents, he told me when he's back. So Lydia's staying over, so it's like an effing girlfriend now. Because Ali can't can leave me alone for a day without checking on me, so. Uh, Lydia's staying over. Eh? What do you mean? Okay. It's like having a girlfriend now for a while. So, that's why I'm saying she. Uh, Elliot will be gone for a week or two. So, something happens with his parents that he is like he said he had to attend to. I have to fight these guys. No, right? But uh, he will be back soon, he said. So, but before he had that, where he was like, Is that a person? Back to Scuba Diver. Like, before he left, he bought me some clothes. And he was shopping with like a uh, good fan of him. He's like so sweet uh, to me too, but... Uh, like she went like like I get I, at least I get why you married Elliot. 
or not married. We're not married, but I fell in love with him. So I think I had a long work day. Let me okay. Let me okay. It's like thank you, I guess. Like he's sweet and I'm pregnant, I know, but like okay. <laughs> uh, but he came a bit close to Martini clothes, like he should try it on at least. And I tried it. I tried it on. Most fitted. I was like, shit, so goddamn comfy, yeah. You probably don't get it unless you're pregnant, but I believe this is so comfy. Yeah, I can't sit with my legs crossed anymore because uh, I can't. So, but my belly shows so off. Uh, yeah, I can't really show now, but as you can see, my belly shows so off. It's so comfy. Uh, it'd be like, it'd probably be like Elise. Why didn't you wear earlier Martinry clothes then? Uh, you know how expensive those things are? I, I asked Ali if it, like, how, how expensive was this? He was like, yeah, a couple hundred bucks. And he was like, everything for my pregnant girlfriend. It was like, how much? It's like 200 to 300 bucks. It was like, really? Like, yep. Wait, what? Uh. Huh? This. A pinzerite. Oh, a oh, the mega to mega of pincer. We can find that Pokemon in this thing, but like I was like, so you tell me this comfy cleaning is really expensive? I was like, yeah. But like, how did you get my size? It's like, remember when I asked you like last week? And I went like, uh, it, yeah, like it's hella expensive. Like this dress that I'm not wearing, that shows my like little baby bum really good. Like, I don't know if you can see it well, but as you can see, uh, that is like 60 bucks. It was like 60 to 70 bucks. But I guess a good dress to feel your comfy is like, ooh. We want to go, uh, also we want to go shopping this Saturday when I record this. Oh yeah, I forgot. Like, uh, we want to do more shopping and we want to look for like a martinery pajama because we think that will be something that I really, really would enjoy. And we want some more sweaters for me because it's getting colder and colder and colder and colder and colder. Maybe it's getting cold outside, you know, like that. Yeah, like that. You don't really have a lot of good moves, huh, do you? Wait, why was... If it's Aqua Berry? But yeah, like, uh, we want some material shopping, like, we want some pants. Not some pants. Uh, you want to get some clothing? You can, uh, what are you going on? Like my tailoring pajamas because it's getting cold outside. You know, Christmas, all those sorts of stuff. Uh, but we want some sweaters. Because we're getting cold out. Hey, Charizard! I didn't have to cheat one in. I can't get a normal one. Look, look how low level this. You tell me that a Pokemon. By, by, the way, by the way, by the way, before I continue my story with like shopping, you tell me the Pokemon on this route here are at a higher level than the Pokemon in here. Yeah, I wanted this route uh, to train. My Raikou before I was like, you know, let's use, uh, let's use, what do you call it, rare candies. And the, the Pokemon here were like level 36. <laughs> uh, I think it's supposed to uh, think that you get back and then go through here. I don't know. I think I go in here. I think I do this route, right? Oh, 
Who is here from the sky? Okay. Maybe I'm even, like surfing at the whole place. You saw me? So yeah, uh, we want some sweaters and martini pajamas. And maybe something extra, I don't know. Because like any cold, like I have a pajama that sits well, even well pregnant. But uh Yeah, like I don't know, I, I don't know. Like it feels like I need a better pajama and then if you can see me, you can see where I'm coming from, but like uh the thing is like Is it, ne is it necessary, you know? Like sweaters I do need because like I have three sweaters and I like wash a lot. But uh Yeah, I wash a lot. You use bounce. Huh. I have to waste my time. Uh sorry. Yeah, we basically like we wash a lot. It's like if you're paralyzed, I'm like what gonna scream. I'm really gonna scream. This thing. Can I... <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, I have three sweaters. Three sweaters, I usually wear shirts. Uh, but like, as you can see now with like jackets. I don't know, can you see? Can you see that I'm wearing a jacket? Like, yeah, see, I'm wearing, now I'm wearing my, my uh, dress with the jacket because it's Cold outside. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess this is like comfy. Like, you know what I can do while pregnant? Like, I can do this. And, like, I can do this. Like, but this doesn't have like a bump. I have like pockets in my bump. I could just like be like this and pat my bump probably without people knowing. <laughs> but you're not here for this. You're here for like seeing the baby bump. I think it sees better like this way, but maybe if I do it like this. I see, like, I'm joking, I'm joking, stop, stop, stop pregnancy. I'm, I'm, my, my channel, like, by the time I give him birth, my channel is like turned around to be like about my baby bump. And I'm sitting there, like, yeah, sorry, guys, I have to disappoint you, but I gave birth to, kid, to two kids, to two beautiful kids. Uh, I'm not pregnant anymore. And people are like, oh, at least you're gonna go away. I'm like, okay, okay, I already tried to get pregnant again. I'll, I'll be pregnant forever, I guess. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, and like, yeah, I'm not like I don't need sweaters, I do, but Shad Ninja. Oh no. Luckily, I have Mako. Uh, but yeah, like pants, maybe a new jeans, new jeans with like the leggings that like go over your, with like a ba baby. How do you call this? Like a martini bent into the jeans that like goes over your bump. Normally I'm wearing my blue martini jump now. A Phantom Force. That hurts. But yeah, like that goes over the bumps or like the, towards. I have a martini band normally that goes to here that I wear a lot. So maybe more of those, like a pants that goes with martini band or but pants that go just to below the bump. Because that's just so, so comfy. Yeah. I, have, I have like one, one, one pair of pants that goes to like below here where my baby bump is. And that sits so way better. And then pants that like goes in and you're like, I can't sip it up. <laughs> but yeah. So that's not just the thing that we wanted, wanted to go shopping for. Like I need some extra clothing. As you can see with my martini clothing now. That's like it's so good. It's got the boot there. Mm. Oh. Oh. Is it blue? Oh yeah, that's like plans I want to do Saturday. Because why Saturday? Well, your Paco girl works 40 hours a week. 
Now two, so... Is that love decks? Is that where I need to be? This about. Oh. I need to go here? That's no clue. I know, I know like the end point where we have to be, but... Uh, yeah, so that's like why I said it because like I work 40 hours a week. <laughs> this is so tiring. Like I have to go like... I normally went every Friday to my parents because... Uh, before before I met Ali, if you know, before I started dating, like because I transformed into the girl that I am today. I... Uh, I went on my own and my parents, like my mother especially, was like worried that I didn't wouldn't eat well, you know, would only eat like the mi microwave food. So I eat it like I came or, or I, I stopped by once a week at my mother's place and I got like then like, a, you know, a, just a bag of, you know, like see, say it like a goodie bag of food that I could go back home and, I, and then I had food for like three days. Then I did, I did that for a long time until uh, they were on holiday in the summer because uh, <laughs> I was like. Well, where's my food now? So I decided to cook and I was like, oh, cooking is easily. Like, Elif? Elif, Elif loves to cook. If Elif is cooking, like, I, I shouldn't be coming close to, like, the kitchen. Because he's like, don't you dare come interrupt my cooking. And I was like, okay, honey. Like, okay, calm down. I just, uh, just was wondering what you're making. Because I'm hungry. <laughs> no, but, like, when I cook, like, I, I, I hate cooking with multiple pans and stuff. Like, oh. I don't know how people do that, like to be honest. Like I don't know how people do that, but I have to steal it again. Hold on. Sneeze, 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 sneeze. Uh. But yeah, like, I can't cook with, like, multiple pans. I I'm just gonna be honest, I can't. I can't. So, pops the people do, but I hate it. I sometimes do it, like, I've cooked uh, risotto before. That, that you need, like, two pans, like, two pans for at least, like, for the rice and such stuff. But I cook, like, uh, chicken tandoori a lot of times. This is a big thing I went in, yeah. Oh, this is a crater around. But like, yeah. Uh, so... Like, I cook chicken and dory, like, noodles. Like, actual noodles with things, so... Go there? Oh, I need to go there. So we check. So yeah, like uh chicken and dory noodles with like actual things with actual like vegetables. I think I need to go there way, right? that way. Uh, what did I cook more with multiple pans? Risotto, chicken and dory. Like, I can cook. That's not the issue, you know. Uh, but I hate cooking. Like, if, if we have to cook, me and Elif, like, we always say, like, Elif, you go cook, and I just, like, sit here, like, you don't mind me cooking, eh, honey? And he's like, uh-huh. I'm telling the story, you woman. And he looking weird at me, we're like, is this... It's just like looking at me, it's like, 
This is how you normally record. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh. But yeah, like, uh, so Elif is the one, the one that cooks, but I do it sometimes from time to time. Secret at is love? It's like a secret base thing. Yeah, it's like a secret base part. So, yeah. Like, I don't mind cooking. Because I know that, like, if I don't cook, like, I don't get my vegetables. To be honest, like, uh, the first of anything, like I said, I normally went to my parents. Uh, once a week. So, if I ate vegetables, it was from there. And normally I got food from there, which gave me vegetables. But otherwise, uh, I normally eat frites. Uh, yeah, fries. Twice a week. Because, uh, I do eat more fries now. But we still, like... Since every price, you know, every price for like everything rises. We still try to do it like this that we like eat. Uh, like that we eat, like try to eat like uh, a, a bag of a, like kilogram of fries in two days. With like uh, five frikandella. Which you don't know because frikandella are like Dutch thing. So... So that you don't know. A freaking alien you won't know doesn't touch thing. But uh yeah. And we try to eat that like twice and then normally one uh, one time we eat whatever we want. So we yeah like we like eat what we want, we eat like how do you call that? Like different. Different eat. Might be different each like each Wednesday. Like last time we had pizza and oh I ate the whole pizza for like a minute. This is also not the right place. Like I ate the whole pizza with like a minute. So was like, Ellie was like looking at me and like Oh fuck are you done already? Like yes. Honestly, like uh I have to admit. I'm just gonna admit it, like pizza with like sprinkles and chocolate sauce on it. It seems so delicious at the moment, eh? Oh, my carvings. Oh, I hate them. But, uh, yeah. And then on Sunday, we normally cook. And uh, we try to keep some for like Tuesday and Thursday. So that you have like three day meal, basically. Because it's really hard to cook for two. And it was even harder to cook for one. Uh, basically, you can say, Elise, aren't you now cooking for four? Yeah. I'm cooking for four. I'm not cooking. I don't know if it's cooking. <laughs> my boyfriend's cooking. He's such a sweetheart. Such a sweet Arthur, but uh, and no, I'm not cooking. We are not cooking for four. I'm like cooking for two. I want to have a really big appetite, you know. Fago girl has like a really big appetite. How do I get up here? This is still like the line. I think it is. Uh-huh, yeah. So, yeah. Oh! What's this? Huh? Is this the city? Oh, there's a gym here? Jimmy here. No poke center. Thank you. Uh, but like, yeah. And yeah, that's just basically for the week. Normally on Friday I went by, to my parents, but like since the internship start, we were like, uh, uh, I come like every once a week. So if like 
one week not, one week yes, one week not, one week yes. And in vacation, like, couldn't happen that I couldn't come. So it was like sometimes three weeks not, and then one week well. It's not that, like, it's not that I've been three weeks, like, yes, you know, and then one week not. Or such stuff, but. So, oh, but, like, yeah. And ever since I got pregnant, or, like, for foods, like, Elliot didn't cook, like, the cooking has, like, I guess Elliot's cooking has changed, but not that much, to be honest. He, like, cooks more, but... Like, he cooks more, because I have, a, as you can see, I have an appetite for four. No, not for four, for three. I have an appetite for three people. That's like saying that still sounds so weird I, every time I say it. Like, I make that joke more often. Like, people be like, hey, this, wow, you're starting hungry. And be like, yeah, don't you see? Like, don't you see this? I have an appetite for like 100 or like three people for two people or three people. Uh -huh. I have like an appetite for six people, three people. So, yeah, like he cooks more and he cooks especially something I want eh? because carvings are a bitch. Just now, carvings are a bitch. If you thought, like, if you thought being pregnant is nice, no, 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 we're not. The being pregnant is not nice. Believe me. I forgot how big the shiny dots were in this game. <laughs> I have Pokeball still. I do. If I touch this thing, it's dead. If I sneeze on it, it's dead. Like. If I touch on it, it's dead. Oh, it's dead. I think it wants to be that and die. Like, that's what I want to do. Could have an effect of 75? Yes. Come on. I'm like, I'm this close to be like. I don't want to waste any more time because I'm like already searching around this water place. So, but. Like, yeah. So, like, I've been eating so much. Like, if you don't, like, it doesn't feel as much. Like, it doesn't feel as much, but when I look back now at it, like, I usually ate two sandwiches and a cup of coffee in the morning. And that has recently been switched to three to, like, keep my carving at bay. So I've been eating three sandwiches in the morning, like normally one with cheese and two with like chocolate sprinkles as we call in the, or, as we have in the Netherlands. I usually drink a coffee alongside it. Uh, and I've been thinking about like whipped cream and sprinkles. The coffee, that sounds so interesting and I want to try it for some reason. So car things have been like a bit. Yeah, just like to keep like, I think it's like at least you don't get enough sweets in. I mean like. Oh, I do. I eat like a pack of candy a day normally now. Uh. But yeah, uh, and like through the day, I normally eat some fruit. Serious. But through the day, I normally eat some fruit because on internship we have uh, free food, and I eat a lot. Like I eat two, three pieces. I normally eat a banana, banana, and orange normally, like three pieces maybe throughout the whole day. And I do have to say, I do have to say, I know I eat a banana, and I know I want to chip everything in chocolate, but can you blame me? Chocolate, na don't chocolate, like a chocolate banana doesn't sound good to you. Like, does a chocolate banana sound good to you? Chase 
Like, I want a chocolate banana now that I think about it. But in the, uh, like, in the lunch break that I normally have on like turn ship, uh, I started to eat, like, I normally eat, like, two or three sandwiches. Or, and an egg. And that started to become... Uh, four sandwiches with an egg. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's, like, all something. I can't do this again. Maybe I have to go through, like... I don't think about through the city. But yeah, like that's like four sandwiches and an egg. I mean, it was like two sandwiches and an egg. So I've, I've cuffed it up to four because ugh, this needs this to here. I'm so hungry sometimes. Huh? Oh, I'm, like, my carvings are a bitch. Carvings are a bitch. Let's, let's keep it at that. <laughs> uh, so, uh,. Yeah? Like, can I go down here? No. But yeah, like, uh, carvings are a bitch. And as I said, I had three pieces of fruit normally through the day. And then we have dinner, and like in the evening I usually eat candy. Or ice cream. Lots of stuff. At least, at least something sweet. And a lot. And that even goes on through bed. Towards uh, going before bed, because I sometimes get uh, like Elise sometimes to me like Elise, are you really sure about eating something before we go to bed? I'm like, yeah, I want ice cream. What you're gonna do about it? It's like okay. I have to get around here somewhere. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I was like, don't you mind like that I'm getting like something to eat? It's like, okay, I get it at least. You can have your ice cream and we're like, yay. So, <laughs> and the worst thing is like, I don't drink like weird stuff. I still drink a lot of water, but I still drink a lot of coffee. And I started to like less the amount of coffee I take. Because I feel, still feel like I'm taking too much coffee. Because normally I do... uh before I all became pregnant and all stuff and became on this internship, I, uh... Drunk one, one cup of coffee in the morning during breakfast, one cup of coffee in the afternoon during lunch. And I drunk some extra when I was at my parents, because, you know, I'm there anyway and they pay, so... Doesn't matter. Designed this. So, like, yeah. But now, as I turn the ship, I drink one in the morning. I drink one when I arrive at, uh, or when I arrive at the turn the ship. What's this dude again? Oh, hold on. And I, I take one if I, after, usually after our team meeting, or for our team meeting, before our team meeting, so there's three. And usually one more during the day, or I try to take that at max. So four cups of coffee a day, and you think like Elisha pregnant. Is it supposed that you like, uh, is it supposed that you should drink like one cup of coffee a day or less? Yeah, that's supposed to be. This. Oh? Why might you be? This is the cave of origin. The spirits of Pokemon became the vampire set to be revived here. Please leave. Okay. So I need to get on the water here. Sable Knight. Ooh. So yeah. N normally it was when I was still when I was like at the start of my internship, I was like not as pregnant as I am now. Like still in a er bit early stages of my pregnancy. I took way, way more. And I asked Emma, and she was like, doesn't seem to have a negative effect on you at least, like drinking that much coffee. And I was like, hmm, hmm, you sure? I was like, yep. I was like, okay. But should I, I was like, I had fun, like I asked, so should I like lessen? I was like, if you can, do, but otherwise, no. Super tight to my skill of upsetting TM and beneath with you. Big break. TM's not now coming in. 
So. So yeah, like, I have time to drink less coffee. Less, less coffee. I'm now wonder, how do I get to the secret cave? I thought maybe it was through the city, but no. Well. Okay, hold on. Let me try up my uh, trusty source of Pokemon while you keep looking at my rubber my belly. Uh, how to get to this. I assume it's the same thing for Sapphire, I think. Beth? I can still don't get how to get to the cave. How do I get to the cave? I don't know if you're playing Ruby, Groudon, it's causing strong sunshine or sapphire, Coco, you can't have rain. Each of the two Pokemon searching for the order to kill it. Go to the northwest of Southern Brazil. Stephen will meet you there in the city to the team leader Wallace. On seeing the orb that you've holding, red orb, ruby, blue orb. Oh, we need waterfall? Like, I don't get how you to get to the cave of origins. Go to most deep city and go down. It's most deep city, not this one. Yeah. Dive and down for the scene opening through an underwater mountain. Go in there, you will see the submarine and team back myself from the cap. Stern, dive up and go into the underwater cave. You will need strength, rock smash, surf, and I think flash. So I go to most deep city. We have to surf down. Oh wait, that's the, the part we already did. I assume. Like... We surf down. Yeah, we surf down. Oh. Uh oh. We have to get to a shallow pit of water in the underwater cave. Hey, Abra, the teleport's away. I'm, I'm grateful. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, we're just talking about food. So, yeah, like... You don't think you eat a lot, like, especially when you become pregnant, but once you to add it up, it's like... You know, it's like, uh-oh. Is the cave they were talking about? I don't get it. Oh! I was going in the wrong way. I was going to the A gym. <laughs> you need rock smash and strength. Oh, I need an HM, bitch. Oh, this, this is, this is exactly the moment. 
I don't know if that's in the Pokemon thing. Do I? No. Right, this is the reason I made Pokemon that I'm never gonna use anyway. I have to get away. I don't have Rock Smash, right? I don't have Strength. No, I don't have it. <sighs> I need to go back. No. Am I still on the thing? This, this Pokemon Adventures, like, at least search for a thing, at least gives up, you know. At least be like, search it up, at least are like, uh, I've been going the wrong way. I thought I was in that city, because, you know, the thing is, here's the C4 Clavern, but if you go here, it's just like a cave of origin. Ah, uh, wait, there was, uh, wait, there was what we have to go after. We have to stop them first, the C4 Clavern. Like, I need Mew for this, but... I'm actually glad that I made a Mew. Mew is gonna be my hate champ, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need for it? Rock, uh, Rock Smash, Strength, Surf, and Flash. Well, we have Surf, so we need the other three. May I present to you uh, the Pokemon that was like that I made for fun? So we're gonna deposit for now our Kira. No. With no Pokemon. Like. May I, may I present you our HM bitch? Uh. You have Surf? Need Strength? We need Rock Smash. I, I made this thing like special attacker as well. Do we need Flash? I know, whatever. You're gonna be our. Uh... Right, something HM. Oh, well, let's see, let's see if we don't need it. I hope I can fly back. I don't want to go <laughs> like <laughs> I don't want back. Uh, yeah, I hope you were like enjoying the like the food talk that I had. I can't fly to it. I to go back. Like I hope you enjoyed the food talk. Like it's not like much. Like I said, it's not much when you count it, but oh, yeah, when you add it together. Like a bunch. But it's like, I'm eating for three. And like, I was speaking about the eating for three thing. No, I wish I'm like wondering recently. When I record this, it's still like, uh, it's like a month before my birthday, the 16th of November. And I'm now becoming pregnant and my birthday is coming up. Hey. Uh, but. Like, Christmas is coming up, huh? I normally we really like you planning to go to your parents, to your boyfriend's or girlfriend's parents, you know, that sorts of stuff. And, uh... If I and Elias are gonna spend Christmas time alone, is it then the four of us? Or the two of us? Regarding my pregnant state? Because, like, you can make an argument that you'd be like, Yeah, I get you, at least it's like the four of you, like the two, the two in here and you and Elias. But... I think at least the two of us, right? I'm probably just asking questions that everyone is like, Elise, shut up. <laughs> uh, I need to crush this. Really? There comes a Pokemon out. 
Oh, Tinko! But yeah, like, is it the four of us? Because, you know, pregnant twins, pregnant twins, or... I think everyone in the comments is gonna be like, at least it's the two of you. It's the two of you. That you're pregnant of twins doesn't make it the four of you. Well, luckily, I don't have to press A all the time. Do I think I'm that way or not? Wait, I ran into a Pokemon battle at the time he saw me. I thought he saw me. Is this not is this like not the C4 of Cliffhan, but like the Cliffhan of Stardust or something? We have a Trico and a Pikachu. <laughs> oh. Like a Trico and a Pikachu. Yeah, this is happening. One more Dolo. That's like the Rock Buck Pokemon, yeah. Like, let's see how far we get to the hour mark. Because I still have to go to internship tomorrow, but... Oh well. This Pyro can't, like, have free life anymore. He live on 1 HP. What happens if Rin dies? Can I then like still see from dive out of the thing? I don't think I can dive out of the thing then anymore. Oh, that didn't do anything. That's gonna hurt. See now another brave bird comes in. Uh who has rock move? Nobody. I assume another brave bird comes in. Like nobody has a rock move. Yeah, it looks like Kaito has a thunder punch. But you know, the thing is, Kaito is fighting, so a brave bird will kill Kaito. Was a cat? Oh. Oh well. The thing is, who did I drop off? Luca. Luca is gonna leak. Uh, what's the third? Luca is gonna get some levels behind, but. Any? No, you, not you. I have bad PTSD to you. I have bad PTSD. I don't know which gym it was. I think it was the sixth gym. But yeah, it was the sixth gym. If if you haven't watched, go watch watch the episodes where I take the sixth gym on. Because oh, that was pain. What's in here? Uh. This way. I think I have to go first this way. Oh, it's in here. Wait, do I need to go this way? I am at the start again! I feel you baited. Oh, luckily those tank. Stank... 
The stand staying stay, but oh well. I should lead with like Sligo now that I think about it. Uh but yeah. Let me like lead with Sligo. Emperor's got 13. I don't need any more! Uh Pokemon. Which? I'm so not used to sitting with like a Lex like this, huh? I do it on the Turnership a lot, but uh, normally I sit with my Lex Costa though. Think I'm picking it out of here? Maybe I can sit like this a bit. Oh, you get to see Lex Elise. Oh no. Uh, this doesn't sit comfy. The thing with your Lex Cross comfy is not never a thing. My belly is still visible, my thing isn't, so. Not sitting correctly. Mm. Like, where does this bring me then? Do I have to go puzzle now? I hate puzzling, especially at this, like, I know it's a kid's game, but... Hey look, a belt that I got in the beginning shiny never used again. Oh, I could catch a belt up, like I could level up the belt up to see what it gives. I think I should do that, like, that doesn't matter anyway. I like shave this this way. So I either have to battle him and get past, or have to get back. Look at this. You would think like, Elise, why don't you buy repels? I thought about that, but no. I just thought about that, I completely forgot that those exist in the game. <laughs> I have to buy them. Uh, I dived below here. I almost ran out of oxygen. So... You have a swamp part? Hello? I want to see what this Swampert does. Oh wait, there's muddy water. I forgot. Please survive for muddy water. Maybe. Do I kill the swamp part before I kills me? <laughs> it's my <mess. laughs> Now I have to come back out? Go back. And I don't have anything about Thunder Punch because. Like I don't have anything about Thunder Bridge because it's partially ground type, so it's immune to electric moves.
Good kill, lads. Thank you, Kaito. Embryo. I know Kaito is quick, but I never knew it was that quick. That should be super effective, right? Uh, Kaito, I know you can hit more. Kaito! Yep, Kaito. That does more than the arm thrust. Which is not super effective. Yeah, that was a total loss of moral. Do I have a revive in my back? You do have a revive. I don't have healing things, and do I? No. Oh. Of course, I'm going to do this wrong. I don't have time for Pokemon battles! Oh, Foggy! This is like the starter game, I'm telling you! Pikachu? Like Pikachu, Trico, and now Froggy? This is like starter game. Oh, and a Cam Cam Ninja would be nice. Oh, I did this wrong. Uh, how do I do this? Oh, wait, I know. It sounds like a Miss Maggie is. Like that sounds like a Miss Magus. It sounds like the room. It sounds like it. Almost there. And almost there. I'm so not gonna win. Maybe I'm gonna win because of Mew. Because uh, it took us level 100. But uh, otherwise I'm not gonna win. I'll you know already. already. Ugh. Aha, proper for the partner the full Archie. I see you. No. Just as I predicted. That was camp. Even I in the great Maxi found myself wishing for something I cannot justify. And the logical desire that the heart board wants to have you present here at the moment. Ah now the full wish has come true. Fantastic, nothing can please me more. I suppose I should just make my introductions. I present to you as my incompatible partner was Sisty Magma and driving humanity forward to its next level. The super ancient Pokemon Groudon. Behold, the great form slumbering in defiance or even broiling lava surrounding it. So long I have waited for this day, immeasurably long. The foolish world has held back humanity's progress out of misguided and idealism regarding the coexistence of human and Pokemon. But this ancient creature can bring that to its rightful end, creating a new land upon which humanity may stride freely forward. Now that I've attained the power of Primal Groudon, and now you are the final obstacles remaining between my and my goal. 
It's behoves to use every tool at my disposal to eliminate you. Indeed, even Mega Evolution. Do not delude yourself that you and your Pokemon are not the only ones capable of it. I must apologize for making you through our encounters in my chimney and my pyre. Without treating you to this sight. Brace yourself for my ultimate attack. Ha ha ha! Six Pokemon. Hear them! Eighty-two. Why is the gym? Why was the gym level ninety? That's quicker. Okay. Well, that's four times effective. I don't know if this has an earth move. I don't think. But why does the gym be level ninety and this is level eighty-two? You can think that, Mako. You can think that. I can think that. I think that well. That didn't do much. I thought that it did more because it's a sparsely ice type. <laughs> I was like, it's gonna live on one HP. Medicham, oh that's a fighting move. I do have Psychic, but... Do I take Risk in? Because I know Close Combat is coming in, but I don't think I can like survive a Close Combat on anyone. I Jump Kick. Miss! Of course you don't miss. Like, I have to use Mew if I like... If I die, uh, if every Pokemon dies. Uh. Ten headbutt. You have a psychic move? A crit. Of course. A fucking course. A fucking course. Ah. Keep going and crashed. I should use like a Pokemon type and dig earlier. Like, then it always would like at least try to miss it. You have like a self? Well, I can thank that. Explosion. So far I lost four out of the six that I have. And I got through three of him. So I wonder if he has a count on his team. Would be funny. A Tauros. A lot of fighting types. Hey, that's not nice. Oh, and then I wanted to do Muddy Water. I think Muddy Water is the most, like, important move to use. Thank you. Oh wait, it's partially normal type, I forgot. It's normal type. Is it not normal fighting or normal? Was, was that the fucking berry? Well, I'm not surviving this one. Oh wait, it has to recharge, so... Maybe? 
It survives? Oh, I just wanted to say. <laughs> Arbok. Interesting team you have. It should kill, right? Yeah. I'm gonna win with even without him using Mew. And Gyarados. It's still, yeah, Gyarados is still the same. Because I think Maxi has like his last Pokemon Gyarados. Oh, wait, I forgot this getting like Dragon Dark, I think. Quicker. Oh, yeah, I have to because otherwise I can't. Oh, it's Starsly Dark type. Towing. I'm towing Sparsely Dark type. I'm even gonna lose with like a hacked 100 level mood. That was a mental say champ, bitch. Ooh. I, 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 I had to. I, I considered it as a loss, but I can't. Like, I can't do otherwise. Because it forces me to use. So. But I'm always busy for too long, so. Ha 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 just plundered my own train. I know it's more than that. I should be calling you my young hero. I uh, believe you until the very end that the world where humanity and Pokemon coexist must be the best. Rejecting my ideals without a second thought. Yes, watching you struggle this personally to do the halt the beginning of the world's end. You are undoubtedly a hero. So noble, and yet. I will not yield, I will not bend, my ideals will not be shaken. My dream for the world's next step forward will never change. I will use the red top to awake crown and reverse to its primal form. I put an end to all these. Wait, Maxi! What's that man? What? Do you hear? Don't stop now! Do stop that now, please, Maxi. You just don't understand. Now the crown will about uh, what crown will bring about uh, about upon awakening is an end to the world. Do you think I'm not noticed? As I somewhere failed to realize you were after my spot? Such a sad development indeed to betray by my number two. In the end, I'm going to be number one which I can depend now, Groudon. Absorb all the power of rest in this red orb and reclaim yourself. Revert to your primal form. This is time to take back the great evolution you lost in the ancient past. Reclaim the possibi possibility you once held. Fuck you. I don't know if I have to battle it because the episode's getting long. I do apologize, but. Did it just. It had a woke. Intense sun. Planning for the Slate Ball City, yeah. This is where we needed to go afterwards. Ah, at last, at last, I've finally done it. A new world of human evolution will be born. We shall strike forward. What have you done, boss? What? A message from our members outside. What is it? So the sun has turned mercifully fierce in its heat? I suspect so. That's what I've long... No. 
What have we have long wished for? But the heat is greater than the supernatures predicted. It will be a risk to our own safety if it continues. That cannot be. It's only just an awoken. Where is it getting so much power from? And how much more will the game when it does undergo primal revision? But here you are regarding send the report back. How's Maxi? This is happening on the surface. All the managers that I've used to get up to awaken ground on. And now, I will transform this plan to a land ideal for humanity. Hey Maxi, looks like we underestimated the power of the Super Asian Pokemon. The power of primal reversion. What do you say? Primal ground will bring about an end in all right, but you don't get to choose what end. It's gonna drive every living thing on this planet to its death. The only thing waiting for despair is a despair we can't even run from. And despair is gonna crush humanity. You blasted fool. And all right because you were cocky enough to think you could control the Super Asian Pokemon power, eh? So the information you've received from the Mother Institute was true. Boss Maxi, we never get our own way just standing around here like this. There's a moment to spare, we must confirm the situation on the outside. Child, you're coming too, hurry up. I don't have time for this. This is not... What? I wanted to make... I wanted supposed to be a world where the human race would attain new heights. The next stage of our development. This was for humanity's future. What's Maxi? So this is the power of the super Asian Pokemon. This is how Crowner brings everything to an end. All of us people and Pokemon, every living thing on this planet, everything's gonna die. Unless a child stops it. Okay, little scamp. We're setting sail for suit boils. The plastic crown is no doubt gonna get there ahead of us. I'll be waiting for us deep in the cave of origin there is still to pulls. There's a pool of energy that their folks say is needful for primal revelation. There's no doubt that my mind the crown will be racing to their cave. Thirsting for that power. We've got no choice but to go ourselves uh, but to go ourselves. We're gonna do whatever we can to fight back. Alright, Maxi, your team Megman Blind is better come with us. We're responsible for the mess or is the killer's impossible mess. It only makes sense for all of us to step up and clean up after ourselves, agreed? <laughs> Let's go, boss Maxi. And let's camp, look, I'm supposed to be going up, right? Uh, so let me say sorry for this voyage has gone down. And I'm sorry because, of, as, uh, sorry because I've got to ask you to pitch in what to clean up. You need every hand on deck if you're going to do something about this mess. So I'll be waiting for you in pseudo boils. How many cutscenes? Elise, I'm sorry I could not be here sooner. Terrible. So this is what's being depicted in the painting in the granite cave. Not to stop all Hoenn, not the entire world will burn up. Nothing could live in such a land or death, neither Pokemon nor humans. The dreadful blaze it must be caused by the sweltering heat wave from above suited boils. Come on, see if you think, what are you going to do? No. There's no point in uh, organizing over the situation from here. I have to go to suit the pills, there must be answers there. Elise? I will count you to help with the crisis, but please promise you won't do anything reckless. Well then, I go ahead to suit your pause. Good luck to you. Well, 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 that is gonna be it for next episode. Because you know why? I feel like I've been going long enough to an hour and a 50 minutes for God's sake. <laughs> so if you're new around here and don't know who I am, as you can see, I'm your pregnant trans girl, Hudson Elise, pregnant anime girl, pregnant VTuber, pregnant trans girl. One thing is for sure, as you can see, I have also a lovely pregnant belly, so I'm pregnant, as you can see. Uh, I do a lot of Let's Plays on my channel. If you want to see what for Let's Plays to do and what I've done on my channel in the past, make sure to check the Let's Play playlist on my channel beforehand. In that case, you can see what I've done over the past few years and what uh, led up to this moment. If you want to see some playlists that I think will fit for you, make sure to check the icon on the top right. If you want to see any previous uh, previous episodes that I've done in Pokemon Omega Ruby Randomizer, make sure to check the outro playlist on the left. Uh, I primarily focus on Portrait Diva and Horror. If you want to support me, make sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and maybe join my Discord down below. Uh, for the people that want to support me more, there is a Patreon link down below, and you get shoutouts like K. 
at Solid. Arigato for being my Patreon members and maybe you can join them all. You get a whole lot of goodies like uh, early access to videos, a pregnancy journey, pregnancy thoughts, uh, access to a private Discord community and much, much more. If you want to check it out, all of the links are at the bottom of the video description. With that, I'm going to say have a wonderful night and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.